Welcome back to the uh, economy web. Uh, the second part of the web, we're going to talk about uh, different sectors of the economy that employ people. In other words, we're going to be talking about people's jobs. And I'm going to be talking about the different jobs that exist and, and what categories they fall into and how they affect the economy of a country. So the most basic job that existed from the beginning of civilization was, was a farmer. So even today, we still have, of course, many people that work in an uh, area of agriculture when they're growing things. We usually break that down into two basic categories. And the first category, it would be the subsistence farmers. Subsistence farmers are uh, growing food or raising animals. So a subsistence farmer could be like uh, raising sheep or it could be growing, growing corn or potatoes. And what they're doing in those farms is that they are trying to survive. That's what subsistence means. So they grow food and raise animals that they're gonna to use to feed their family. In general, subsistence farms, they tend to be a little bit smaller uh, because it's just for one family or for one small community that they're producing the crops. On the other hand, you have uh, what is much more common today, especially in richer countries, is that most of the farming that is done today is called commercial farming. And commercial farming is also in, involves the raising of animals or the growing of food. So it could be a corn farm, it could be uh, a sheep farm, it could be a pig farm, it could be a wheat farm, it could be apple orchard, uh, they could be growing bananas, but usually uh, whatever it is that they're growing, they call those cash crops because instead of being used to eat or to feed the family, these crops are used as exports or they're being sold and that's how the farmer makes money and these farms tend to be quite uh, quite a bit larger and they're often not owned by a family they're sometimes owned by like a company so like the del monte company manufactures pineapples okay now um, there are other types of jobs and we're going to start with just the basic uh, workers that we will call laborers and laborers don't necessarily have to have like a huge amount of education, but they do need to have certain skills related to what it is that they're doing. So if they're building a road, they need certain skills. If they're uh, cleaning houses or if they're working in hotel cleaning up, uh, they need to have certain skills. Or if they're working in construction, they have to know how to build houses and, and uh, perform those types of jobs. Laborers, uh, of course, are very important because we, without that, that physical work, you know, we can't uh, survive as a society, but uh, laborers don't tend to be people who make a whole lot of money um, because it's basically all you need is the desire to work, a little bit of physical strength, and um, uh, the ability to learn what to do. On the other hand, we have uh, manufacturing jobs, and this one is kind of interesting because this used to be the main types of jobs in the, in the United States. The United States used to uh, have a lot of factories, and they used to produce a lot of things. But nowadays in the United States, we don't have a whole lot of manufacturing. Most of the manufacturing has moved uh, to countries in Asia that have uh, workers who will work for a lower salary, work for lower wages. So the factory owners will build those factories in China or Thailand or Vietnam, and they will employ the people from those countries who work for less money so that they have lower cost to produce the goods, and then they can ship the goods all over the world. So manufacturing has gotten to be a lot less in the United States, but uh, it still exists as an important job in many countries. Now you have the last category, which is I'm going to call services. And some of these people, we would also call them knowledge workers, because these are the types of jobs, more professional type jobs that require more training. So for example, you could have doctors, you could have uh, teachers or uh, people who work in the government. You could have uh, uh, computer programmers, okay? Or you could have people who work in uh, healthcare. Uh, these are people who have a specific training for that type of job. They don't necessarily produce anything, but they do perform services that are important and people need. All right, and then another type of services that maybe is not so much the knowledge workers is like the merchants, the business owners, people who work in restaurants, people who work in hotels. Those would be the jobs you would have in a country like Puerto Rico where there's a lot of tourism. Okay. So nowadays, uh, you tend to have countries like the United States that has a lot of services, doesn't have as much manufacturing anymore. 
Um, the United States still does have a lot of agriculture because we have quite a bit of excellent farmland, but we have, um, and we do employ construction and maids and stuff, but the jobs in the U.S. are, are more of these knowledge type jobs because of our high level of education. So that's it for the economy that, about the different kinds of jobs people have. And next video, we're going to move on to talk about economic systems.